You grew up a perfect white picket fence life in a perfect home, perfect parents, perfect sister, perfect grades, and nothing was ever out of place. Or was it? Your memory is a little jaded, it seems. Maybe you got it all wrong. You were taught that your father builds the home and mother maintains it. But how was dad making money again? Ugh, you can't remember. Or maybe you chose to forget. And like the perfect person you are, you fell in love in high school with the perfect person. Or you thought they were perfect until you saw them kissing your sister. And only a few years later, they got married. And you weren't even invited to the wedding. No, this wasn't how it was supposed to be. You were perfect. Where did it go wrong? You promised you'd keep to your mother's beliefs. You married young, 18 to be exact. And you took care of your spouse and of your home. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we start our story today because there is a lot more going on in Clary's life that we are about to find out. <laughs> okay, so hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another one of my videos or welcome to my channel if you are new. So I hope you guys enjoyed that machinima that I prepared for you at the start of the video. That was a backstory of uh, Clary uh, or Clarissa, her name is also as well, but Clary is her nickname, um, who is gonna be our founder for this new challenge that we're gonna be starting. Uh, and the name of the challenge is called the Cry Baby Whims Legacy Challenge. Now, we are gonna go into the rules um, of the challenge for Gen 1 and also um, anything else that we need to know for Gen 1 because there's a lot, I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of tea going down <laughs> in this challenge, which obviously I'm gonna love. Um, I love drama, you know, we're just here for the tea in Sims. We just love it. So yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm so, so excited to go ahead and jump right in. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do and you love all the characters. Yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at the challenge rules. Okay, so to quickly recap, um, when I did the machinima, we got up to uh, this part here. So you'd promise you keep to your mother's beliefs. You married 18 um, and took care of your spouse in your home. But it doesn't just stop there. That is just the backstory part. That everything after that is all going to be the in-game um, juice, you know, the story that we actually play through. That was all the, just the background fluff, you know. Your ex was always hanging around your sibling's house and you guys may have accidentally hooked up and now you guys are pregnant, each having a different spouse. Is it weird to co-parent with your sibling's spouse? Yes. So should you keep seeing your ex? No. Um, what about your partner? They deserve better. <laughs> Will they catch you cheating? Mm. Will you tell them the truth or continue living a lie? So that is pretty much the, the main bulk of the drama for Gen 1. Um, Gen 1 is also called Dollhouse as well. So that's really exciting. So these are the rules that we need to do or the, these are the, th the goals that we have for Gen 1. These are the things that we need to do. So have a high school sweetheart that you start on bad terms with, which obviously we've already got. Have a caring spouse who you're madly in love with, which we already do. Have a perfect white picket fence home with your spouse, which we kind of do, but I didn't want to go too overboard because I quite like the struggle. You guys know that I just don't like going in with loads of money and just having everything. So we don't have a lot of money, but the house is decorated. It's not like a bad house or anything. There's definitely room for expansion. Uh, we need to slowly rebuild a relationship with our ex, start hooking up with our ex, and one of us gets pregnant. Raise the child that we get pregnant with under our roof have three more children with our spouse, divorce our spouse as an adult and take all the children and stop being a stay at home parent and join the politician career. Then we need to also mask the aspiration. And the main question, are we gonna continue seeing our ex who obviously is currently our sister's husband? So that's just a bit, that's just all kind of messed up to be honest. <laughs> it's just all kind of messed up. I am pretty sure that for the generally, uh, for the crybaby whims, uh, which is made by uh, Dreyad, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but just, you know, double check with me. Um, it's heavily inspired by the Melanie Martinez songs. So I, I think, I don't know if this is the part, portion of the song, like this is a lyric from the song that, sh that they've taken. So everyone thinks we're perfect, but please don't let, let them look behind the curtain. So that's kind of like the, I don't know, the quote for the generation or for, you know, for Gen 1, which I think is gonna be really cool. So uh, we need to have the successful lineage aspiration. We have to have no career and then we get a politician career as an adult. Um, we also need to be perfectionist, paranoid, family oriented, which already we are. And our colors are also yellow and white, um, which I've gone ahead and given her blonde hair and uh, yellow and white 
clothes as well. So all of that is done. A few little rolls just to cover, just really quick. I don't wanna like fill it up, you know? You have to complete each goal listed in each generation to move on to the next. We're allowed some stories uh, to progress in the story, to progress in the story, but they'll, they'll specify. No money cheats. Lifespan should be kept on normal. Um, obviously, full crisis in mode, and that's it pretty much. And if you play this challenge, try yourself in the okay that's fine we are gonna go ahead and jump right in because i have a lot to show you guys going on uh but i want to go ahead and get you guys introduced some new characters that you would have not met yet like friends and things like that so let's go ahead and jump right in and i really really hope you guys enjoy the challenge and are excited as i am because honestly i am stoked i am really really excited <laughs> right so i've just come into game and um there's a burglar <laughs> coming in and stealing things from my house. I don't think I've ever seen this interaction before. What is, what did you steal? Oh my God, did you steal my keys? My plan, what is going on here? What did you, did you steal my, oh, my sofa, my, my, oh my God, you're not gonna steal my chair, are you? What are you taking? My chairs? No, this is not, this is not acceptable. Oh, fight for stuff. Right, Milano, our husband, he's in the military. Get out there and sort this out, Milano. <laughs> Go and sort this out. Milano, I want to see you run, boy. I want to see... Look, she's taking everything. She's like... Do I call the police? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what am I supposed to do in this situation? <laughs> Milano, listen. Oh, did she leave? <laughs> My house has been ransacked. My house has been ransacked. Okay, well, that was not how the episode was supposed to start. Did she take my lights? Oh, no, she didn't. I was going to say, there was no li Oh, there's just no lights upstairs. Oh, my bad. Well, that's just not working out for us now, is it? I guess go back to bed, guys, because uh, we'll pick this back up in the morning. Oh, my God. Look at our little outerwear. Oh, my God. Wait, have I ever given you guys a close-up of Clary? Hold on. Let me bring her downstairs, and I'll give you guys a proper close-up of Clary. Right, can I get a nice little... Okay, never mind. She's gone. <laughs> Okay, really quick. Uh, she's just going through it. I know. She looks like she's giving birth, but I promise she's not. No, I'm good. I don't want to go to Batu. Thanks very much. Can we get you in a better angle, baby? And now she's being paranoid. Please. <laughs> I love I love how these episodes start. I really like it. This is Clary. We don't like her morals, though, because clearly they're a little messed up because she ends up cheating on her husband with her ex who's married to her sister. Obviously that situation that happened with her sister was a long time ago. So if we go ahead and like meet everybody, you will see that we've got mum and dad in here. So her mum and dad, um, her mum's called Tonya and her dad's called Andrew. So that's mum and dad. And then her sister is called Madison, who is also called Maddie. They currently don't have the best relationship. They're kind of acquaintances because they, they was on rocky terms. First of all, we have Andrew, who is uh, Clary and Madison's dad. Madison is obviously um, Clary's sister. Uh, then we've got her mom, who's Tonya, so she's worth knowing as well. Obviously, we have Madison, who is married to Noah, who is our ex from high school, who we call our sister kissing. So as you can see, we have uh, a bad relationship with our sister. Well, it's not as bad as we have with Noah. With Noah, it's just like a terrible match. It's just oh, it's bad. Uh, but with Madison, it's an acquaintances because they were re on really bad terms. But obviously, gradually, as they've gotten older, they've gotten over it. But even then... Clary, you know, still holds it against her sister that she wasn't invited to the wedding and things like that. There's a lot of things that really affect her relationship with her sister. But also, Madison and Noah have a baby, have, have a child called Elodie, who's their daughter. Clary is very, very good friends with Elodie. They really, really get on. And to be honest, Madison isn't the best mum, I'm not going to lie. So she gets along a lot better with Clary because Clary in general, um, she's a very, very good mother. Yeah, she's definitely a little bit better. She looks after Elodie quite a lot, goes over there. In a way, she has some good morals. In another way, she don't. So <laughs> we're going to go get some brunch, okay? We're going to go brunching with the girls. And that will give you a chance to meet all of uh, Clary's friends who pretty much she knows all from school. So all of them she's grown up with from school. So we have Amber, Eloise, Juniper, and Freya. Um, so let's go ahead and invite them out. Okay, here we go. So I am going to go in. Is there a barista in here? Oh, no, she's, we're waiting for her to actually go in. She's got an ear infection. Oh, my God, it's all going down, isn't it? Did I come and order some food? Oh, she's far too... What? Okay, here we go. Right, come and order some food for here. Um, let's quickly grab a uh, plain old chocolate. Oh my God, someone stole my plain old chocolate. What? There's no food left. What's happening? I need more food. Okay, let me grab a cannoli. Clary is a stay-at-home mum, but she's not actually a mum yet, which she's in the process of trying to become a mum. She's actually trying for a baby with Milano. So yeah, it's pretty set in stone that they've wanted a baby for a long time. Okay, what is going on? 
please come and grab your scone. All of them um, she met in school, so she's grown up with them, and obviously they've all got their own lives and everything. So we have Freya over here, we have Amber, um, this one is Juniper over here, and then we also have her other friend, Elodie, uh, sorry, Eloise, not Elodie, Eloise, who is over here as well. So. Is he home already? Oh, Milano's home. Milano's home already. Damn, that was a quick shift. He got home at like two o'clock. So I'm going to have uh, Clarissa go and talk about spouse to um, Eloise a little bit. And we kind of just want to talk about, you know, the fact that we are in the process of, um, you know, trying for a baby with Milano, you know, taking a little bit of time. She didn't realize it was going to take this long when she... Um, ended up getting with Milano and marrying him. You know, she kind of expected to just get pregnant straight away. And it, it's actually been quite a while. But I'm going to call it quits with the girls because actually Elodie is going to be coming home from school in a second. And I'm sure that Clary would want to make sure that she goes and grabs Elodie from school and brings her home, does her homework with her because obviously that's her niece, you know, as I said, they get on really, really well together. Madison, she's like a really big social media influencer and like she's, well, not influencer, she's very in social media and she works for like a big company in doing socials. So she spends a lot of her time away and when she is at home, she spends the majority of her time basically on her phone. But little Elodie is here. I'm gonna go and ask her how she is. Hi, little Elodie, how are you? Well, this is um, this is Clary's sister. She's gorgeous, obviously, um, but so is Clary. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna go and ask Elodie how she is. How was her day at school? Is school not going well? And then obviously I need to make sure I go ahead and say hello to my sister. So I'm just gonna go and uh, ask her about her day and ask if, ask, ask if she's having a good day. And, uh, oh, okay, so over here is Noah. This is uh, Clary's ex, as you can see. Snack. <laughs> He's gorgeous. But she, yeah, she does spend quite a lot of time around her ex, who, by the way, she does really detest. She really doesn't like him. If she has the choice, she would not be around him. That's, that's how she feels about it. Okay, so I'm gonna have Clary go upstairs. Oh, she's cleaning their toilet and everything. Damn, she she comes, she literally comes right to her sister's house and ends up as a bloody sister's maid or something. But we are gonna go and play do dolls with Elodie. And obviously Clary's, as I said, she's very family oriented. So she's really into, you know, like um, children. She's really, she's really great with children. She's really, really good with them. So uh, we're gonna go and play with her a little bit. And then we also need to make sure that we're gonna be home by about like 5.30ish. We have to make sure that we're home making dinner for Milano. Otherwise, he's gonna get a little bit annoyed if we're not home in time to make sure that he's got his dinner because he wants to go to the pub at seven o'clock. So he wants to be gone and out by seven. Okay, right, I gotta go ahead and say goodbye to Elodie. Go and give her a hug and then we gotta go home because we gotta go make some dinner. Yep, so Milano's waiting at home for his dinner. So we need to go and head on home. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. You're already thinking, oh my God, this mal chauvinistic Milano. He is the one that goes out to work. And right now, uh, Clary, you know, she has no income she doesn't make any money and she's not prepared to go out to work in a way he's like okay well i'm gonna go out to work but just make sure you get the things done that needs to be done around the house because obviously also having a house is also a full-time job as well like you know doing all the laundry and everything so he understands that but um you know that's her that's her job basically to do that whether you know whether we agree or not but that's just how we use it uh oh what should we make just mac and cheese okay we're gonna go in and milano hi how are you Oh, he's kind of tired. <laughs> well, we have no sofa. I was going to say, wind up on the sofa. But now he's got to stand up and watch the TV because it got stolen earlier. Great. Thanks for that. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Oh, my God. I love this. <laughs> this wholesome family gameplay we absolutely love. Pretty much the majority of the time, they are, you know, they're doing a little bit of woohoo. Because, they, yeah, they really do want one. That, that's that been their goal. Clary really, really wants a child. Her sister having a child way before her and then her not being able to get pregnant has really impacted Clary in like a, not in not like a bad way. Like, she's not, she is jealous. Um, She loves Elodie, but also... Yeah, it's just she's a little bit jealous that her and her sister, um, her sister and her hus and her husband, her ex, um, managed to get pregnant so quickly, and her and her husband haven't managed to since they've been together. So we're gonna go and profess our undying love for him, see maybe he's whether he's up for going to do a little bit of woohoo, maybe. Okay, so they go, they're off to go do their thing. They've had a little bit of dinner, and uh, I guess Milano is gonna be a little bit late to the pub, but. For a little bit of woohoo, it's fine to be a little bit late. It's worth it. <laughs> so Milano's uh, headed on off to the pub or bar, you know, 
And um, that has mean that little Clarissa is left at home by herself on a Tuesday with not really much to do. I was actually considering inviting her sister out because her and her sister definitely have a bad relationship. You know, she's working on herself, trying to be a better person, not be as hateful and as spiteful because her sister got pregnant before her and has a child before her, you know, and not be like that. So I'm thinking maybe I'll invite her out and see if she wants to come out for some drinks with us. Going and drinking and singing some songs, even if you can't sing, oh, it's so good, okay? You just cannot beat it. Karaoke's great. Oh, it's karaoke contest night. Okay, I do not see Clary winning. I'm not gonna lie. They actually have a sentiment together, and I'm gonna show you, um, where she is a romantic rival. So, uh, Clarissa's partner said they were in love with Madison, making her a much despised romantic rival. Obviously, this was the whole Noah situation. I really find you interesting, Madison. I hope that you can see it too. She's trying to suck up to her sister, which, you know, I guess you can need a little bit of sucking up, you know? Okay, has everyone got their drinks? I want to go do some singing. Ooh. It's actually really good though. <laughs> right, here we go. So, I want to go and sing a duet. Let's do a country duet with Madison. Why is everybody getting in my business? What the hell? Why is she so sweaty? Is that after a woohoo? Babe, that's disgusting. You didn't even have a Is she tipsy? This is this is bonding. This is just a bonding experience going on right here. Madison's not even that bad. Clary on the other hand is terrible. Okay, that was it. Just cut off. Oh my god. I really would like them to have a better relationship. So it's gradually going up. It's not like crazy quick or anything, but it's definitely it's definitely progress. Okay, they they weren't even close to being friends before. So I would take anything I can get at this point. Oh, is she enjoying herself? Oh my god, now it is. Some people just don't understand raw talent when they see it. Did that guy just fart? What the? F That's disgusting. Okay, it's like one o'clock. Milano is gonna be so pissed. But I gotta go home, okay? I, I, got, I gotta leave now. Alana's gonna kill me if I get home too late. <laughs> Out drinking with the girls again. <laughs> okay, right, we just got home and Milano's already inside. Oh God, unsatisfied. That woohoo wasn't satisfactory and improvement is needed. Oh God. Maybe the issue that's the issue. Okay, the issue with this, right, is they are only woohooing to, to try for a baby, right? So there's no like, not chemistry, but it's not natural. They're kind of like forcing it. So even when they wouldn't normally have woohooed, um, they're just doing it because of the fact that they're both like really, really pushing to have a baby. So it does kind of make sense that the woohoo was bad because it was basically just like, you know, just for paper making purposes. We need to work on his fitness skill too. We're probably gonna take him to the gym because he's our breadwinner in this house and we have bills to pay and he's level one and that ain't gonna cut it, okay? That is not going to cut what we need. Okay, so Milano's off to work and Clary had a nice little lay in. 8.30, it's not so bad. But of course, we are gonna go do a pregnancy Trip test now. really quick because it's like her her ritual to do every morning after she's uh after she's woohoo, just to be sure. She needs to be sure. She's not she's not thinking that she is, um, because she's only just come off her period recently, so it doesn't really doesn't really think that she's gonna be pregnant, but you know, there's still a possibility that she is. And she is. <laughs> Uh, okay. She's very excited to have a baby. So we're gonna go and um, serve up some, uh, serve up some food. It'd be really nice if we could find a way to do like a announcement to our husband and let her know. Maybe when Milana gets home, we'll just tell him as soon as he gets home from work. But then we're gonna have to set up something for the family, like a pregnancy announcement or something and invite everybody round. I was gonna say invite everybody round for dinner, but what are we all gonna just share a chair or something? Is this musical chairs? Okay, right. Oh my god, look, she's got a tiny little belly. She's kind of showing like the tiniest, tiniest little bit. Oh my god, Elodie, what are you doing? Isn't it, are you supposed to be in school? I swear she's supposed to be in school right now. Can we go give her a little hug and say, what are you doing out of school? Um, I'm just a little bit down, Clarissa. Thank you for checking on me. Oh, she's feeling a little bit down. She doesn't know that she's going to be expecting a little cousin, but um, we are obviously going to invite her around when we do the pregnancy announcements. Maybe we could plan that tomorrow. It might be a good idea to like invite everybody round and it kind of makes sense because it's like Winterfest Eve, you know, like, oh, it's Christmas Eve, you know, everybody go around mums. And then actually, whilst we're there, we end up letting everybody know that we're pregnant. Uh, rub it in face. No, I'm joking. Right, uh, I was going to say, let's go sit on the sofa and relax and wait for Milano to show up, but you know. So he just got home from work. I'm going to go out there. 
Anna, Ooh. go and give him a little kiss. Here we go. Right, okay, are you ready? So I have the most amazing news. You are not gonna believe me when I tell you. I did a pregnancy test this morning and I actually found out that it's positive. Why are you joining on this conversation, Cassandra? This is really, this is like a very sensitive conversation. Okay, look, she's like, oh my God, really? We didn't even know her. What's his reaction? I want to see. Oh my God, look how excited he is. Oh my God, he's so excited. Look at him. We need to talk about the baby room decoration. That's very important. Okay, we need to talk about the baby room because we have a whole nursery to decorate and we're gonna need some more money for that, okay? Especially considering we just got burgled the other day. So we need some more money for this whole situation, okay? Very important. Okay, Milana, you need to go and get a nap if we're gonna be throwing this whole situation tonight because I need to make sure everyone knows that you girl is pregnant. Here we go. And then we're gonna go throw it at um, our mum and dad's house. And let's plan it for like 5 p.m. And that's good. Right, we gotta get ready to leave in a second. I don't know if I should like prepare some food to bring over there. Okay, this is going really, really well, isn't it? Probably should have started baking these macaroons earlier. I swear to God, if you set this kitchen on fire, baby girl. Oh my God, I literally called it. No, I can't afford this. No, seriously, I cannot afford to repair this. Oh my God. Eloise, listen, I'm busy, I'm busy. Oh my God, this whole thing, oh no, I've got to leave. Oh, what if the whole fire burns down my house? I've got to go, I'm sorry. If I come home and my house is burned down, I deserve this. I really do. Okay, right, we just got here. I'm gonna go and knock on our mum and dad's doors. We can go in. Oh, they've got the Christmas decks up. Yay. Come guys, come sit. I've got big news, big, big news. Okay, right, everybody's in, lovely. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna go and tell mum so she's just sitting right next to me. I'm gonna go and let her know. And then uh, before I tell dad, obviously I'm gonna go tell my sister. Here we go. Right, she told her mom, let's see the reaction. Oh, she's excited. She's like, another crane baby. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, she's gonna go and tell Maddie. What's that face? Oh, she's excited. She's excited for her, that's cute. Okay, her sister is actually excited for her, which is great. Where is her ex? It's a little awkward. Is he not coming in the house? Oh, he's coming over. He's just a little late. Okay, great. Well, um, I guess to try to be uh, nice, I'm going to uh, save conversation. I'm going to uh, try to chat to him and just be like, hi, Noah, are you okay? Is it going okay? Oh, no, it's not going okay. They're already arguing. Okay, listen, can you just go in and tell him that you're pregnant? Okay, let's just get it over and done with. Oh my god, did, 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 oh my god, wait, when they argued, did you see that? Maddie was like, stop being horrible to my sister. What are you doing? Oh no, he doesn't mind it. He doesn't mind it. Oh, wait, that does not look like the face of somebody. That, that was a very fake emotion. Oh wait, and now his sisters have, wait, hold on. What's going on here? Hold on. Did you see that? He was like, yes. And then he was like, and then, he's, and then my sister, her, his um, wife went straight over and like lectured him and told him off. There is something suspicious going on there. I don't know if she saw his reaction of like, that he was actually upset that she was pregnant. That was a very interesting dynamic between the two of them. And now they've split off and Noah's going home. He's outside. Oh, he feels really bad. Like discuss his sad mood. I don't know if he's gonna wanna do that. Like, are you okay? Like I saw that there was a, something going on between you and Maddie, you know? Oh, that was like, oh, okay. No, he's crying about something. What? Okay, that was actually good. I'm just gonna go grab uh, Maddie and uh, go and talk to her and uh, complain about Selfish Sims. Imagine you're just like, yeah, I really hate Selfish Sims, especially the kind that steal your boyfriend when you're in school. <laughs> okay, let's not go in with that. <laughs> Can you sort the cats out? This is not like, this is not a, a rescue home. Okay, or maybe it is, maybe it is and I didn't know because just make yourselves a home lads, make yourself a home. Okay, Milano just got home. Um, I'm gonna have him go grab some leftovers and then head on off straight to bed because he's very tired. Just sitting there thinking about being pregnant, just really excited. Well, these guys are heading on off to sleep. I think we are gonna go ahead and leave the first episode off here. I think we're gonna be seeing a little baby, Clary and Milano in the next episode, which is gonna be very, very exciting. And obviously a baby made by these, it's gonna be gorgeous. So I'm very excited to see Bubby. There is gonna be way more storytelling in the future episodes, especially with the whole situation going down where Clary is cheating on her husband, which 
I don't even know how that's gonna work. So we'll get to that bridge when we uh, when we come to it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you've got any suggestions on how you think it's gonna play out. Any of the characters, anything you've got any suggestions of, please let me know. Um, and also remember to go ahead and leave a like on this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you are new and also ding the little notification bell next to it. Then you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never miss an episode of this series or any of the other series on my channel and the videos as well. And yeah, I will see you all in the very next video, which hopefully won't be too long after this one. I love you guys and I'll speak to you later. Bye guys.